Maestro Doron Salomon, Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Heartly congratulations for the 40th birthday of the Beersheva Sinfonieta. Thank you very much. Uh, we were your guests in Beersheva right. and tonight in Tel Aviv. Right. Must be a very special feeling. Yeah, we are all, it's an euphoric feeling. We are all very excited and touched and uh, really we are on a cloud. Uh, because of the anniversary, because of the situation of the orchestra that is coming up, because of the piece that we are playing, Mendelssohn, uh, Elijah, this is something that uh, we haven't played for many years, the orchestra hasn't played for many years, and also we have a choir from Germany, it's also something new. I mean, it Ma makes it even more special? Exactly. And you open with uh, Paul Ben Chaim? Yes, Paul Ben Chaim, a fanfare to Israel. Which is, of course, uh, somebody or the most Israeli of all music. It's a real fanfare, very well written, very short. So two Jewish composers, yeah. each uh, chose a different way. That's right. Well, of course, each uh, lived in a different century, but they came all from the same uh, tradition. Music there, tradition. There is no secret that you are responsible for a wonderful revival of a very interesting... Orchestra in a very special place. Hey, thank you. Uh, how we are, we are responsible. It's not only me. It's uh, teamwork. So how did you do it? Well, uh, you know, day by day, it's uh, the devil is in, in the detail. Every detail must be worked out. First of all, by making the orchestra play well and uh, working really uh, solely on every part, every group, and uh, creating a sound. Creating our special song. And then, of course, uh, enlarging the repertoire of the orchestra because uh, I think uh, in the last few years, four or five years, the orchestra has played so many pieces of so many styles, unlike any other orchestra in Israel or in the world. I mean, we play everything, including quarter tones, Arabic music, Iraqi music, of course, tango, which is obvious. The, we are a classical orchestra, you know, by, by uh, obviously, but uh, we try to get new audiences, and we actually got new audiences. I mean, we have the highest, highest subscription rate of all the history of uh, the Sinfonietta. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. And the orchestra became very versatile, and I believe that if you, you, you play tango well, you play also Bach well. Uh -huh. As one reflects on the other. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of our achievements. And also, which is very important, uh, we opened a course for students in the university, and that's also uh, an astounding success story. In the Bersheva University? Yeah, yeah. We started uh, four and a half years ago with six students, and now we have 1,200. Amazing. Yeah. Truly amazing. Yeah, hey, yeah. competition uh, for Tel Aviv and Jerusalem, academies. Yes, this is not academy. This is students who are not musicians. Okay. Are just students who want to learn, as they call it, music analysis. Okay. Music appreciation. Wow. They must work, they have exams, they have, uh, after every concert, they come to the concert, they hear lectures, it's very serious. But uh, I think when they, uh, after the course, when they graduate, they know much more about uh, orcs and music and conducting, but not only classical music. In my examples, I show you know, from every field, every musical style, almost mm -hmm. every musical style. L lucky students you have. <laughs> Thank you. Maestro, uh, you are one of the best persons I can think of to ask the following question. You have been conducting all over the world. Yeah. And when you look at the, at the music in Israel and its role in the world, how would you describe it? Well, Israelis have a very good reputation as musicians. More as a performing musicians, writer, uh, rather than creators or composers. But this will come. But there are many, so many wonderful Israeli musicians. Of course, there are the great ones everyone knows, but there are also others who didn't have such an amazing career like Zuckerman or Perlman. But still, they are very, very good. You meet them everywhere. And 
and uh, the contrib uh, musical contribution of Israel to the world is unbelievable. Beyond its size, the actual Absolutely. size of Israel. Absolutely. Much beyond. Absolutely. Yeah. In classical, but also in jazz, you know, in New York, of course, the most attractive musicians today, after the Americans, are the Cubans and Israelis. So right. That's a fact. A few weeks ago, there was a wonderful article in the New York Times yeah. about the important role of Israeli jazz musicians in New York. Not only in New York, also in France. Correct. You know, and also in Germany. I mean, it's incredible. Yeah. What can we wish, Doron Salomon? What can we wish the Be'er Sheva Sinfonietta? First of all, peace. Because we are the ones who are being bombarded when you hear about the missiles and the guards and the rockets, it's us. You are closest to the border. Yeah, we are the border. And actually last uh, season, the opening, we had to cancel one concert. We were already on stage. I remember. I was on my way there to visit you. There you are. And my wife said, no way. And she was right. Your wife is always right. Yes, yes. And first of all, that. And the rest we do. Well, we have very good support, also political support, we have very good audience, and uh, I, I hope we are on the right way. Maestro Solomon, we wish you all that and more. Thank you very much. Thank you for Good luck. Mazal tov and shalom.